Hello everyone, so let's take a look at PSET 2 now. Um, okay, first uh, we need to change our working direct to the PSET 2 to make everything easier. Alright, let's look at um, initials first. So you got a compile program and I'll run it. initials um, I probably should have placed a prompt or something to notify the user to enter the name or something but um, it's alright so my name uh, let's just put in all lower cases you can see the output there guys so it's initialized my name so it's just taken the first letter capitalized it and taken the uh, second letter of my uh, well it doesn't know it's my last name it just uh, arbitrarily takes the second word first letter alright so we can um, do another one Jack Wang and then we'll be JW okay so pretty simple uh, let's move on then so we can make Caesar Caesar. Okay, so we can see it's uh, printed out that because we didn't uh, put in the correct number of command line arguments, so non-negative number. So that's going to be our shift value, so to speak. That's how many places each letter is going to be moved along the alphabet. So say if we placed uh, uh, four, and we had the letter A it will be shifted four places, and that would be A, um, B, C, D, E. So it would end up as E. We can try that out. So four, and then plain text A, and there we go. That'll be E. Now let's try something more interesting. We'll have a sentence now, and we'll shift it ten places this time, and see what our output is. Hello, oops, and then the, there's latency because well, we live in Australia and it's probably based in US. So let's add some punctuation into this now and see how it handles that. Even put a smiley face at the end, and as you can see, it doesn't change the punctuation, but it encrypts the uh, text. All right, how about capital letters now? Uh, all right as you can see it keeps the capitalization as per the specification from um, the problem set okay it's our uh, last one Vigenair so this is our most complicated one um, it, you enter if you don't know what uh, Vigenair cipher is you just enter a keyword um, and it encrypts using that keyword it uh, encrypts the text so um, uh, we can just see uh, it in action so it's a bit more complicated than Caesar's uh, cipher so you know uh, it it's a bit more secure but obviously um, it's no one would use this uh, nowadays how to encrypt information there are much more secure and complex ways okay such as RSA and oh, others okay let's run it now Eugenia. okay it's not meant to be a space there say I'm not too sure how to run it and I just run it like this okay there we go it's given us a clue usage Let's just clear the terminal window and make it a bit easier. Say uh, I just forgot what it was, so I can just run it again and then keyword, okay. Let's make our keyword P. Okay. And there there we go, the encrypted text. And what it does is it takes um the first letter of the keyword, P and the um, it takes the numerical value and then it will shift the first letter of the 
our plain text by p p spaces so and then the next one which is e will be shifted i spaces and then the next one l will be sh shifted g spaces and then it'll repeat again so the next l this one here will be shifted by p spaces now okay and it re repeats so as you can see it's a bit more secure i mean it's not just uh one one um one uh shift for all the uh, uh letters they're they're different with the keyword so it'll be harder to crack but uh still possible if you can guess the keyword okay uh that's it for the example